Today we are discussing our tape mounted wire ferrules and why this may be an advantageous option for your company. Anytime you are discussing tape mounted product, you have a few goals in mind. First and foremost is improved throughput. It is much faster to crimp tape mounted terminals with a bench top crimper than it is by hand. Second is a worker safety concern. There is little to no chance of repetitive stress injuries while using an automatic bench top crimper. The same cannot be said about hand tools. Other mounted ferrule crimpers use a dedicated machine that only crimps insulated ferrules that are attached to one another by the molded insulator. Our system uses the H270 crimping machine, which can be used for any type of tape mounted product. Insulated or uninsulated ferrules, ring terminals, disconnects, spades, or even butt connectors. The H270 can crimp tape mounted 26 gauge through 8 gauge ferrules. We have another machine that can crimp up to 4 gauge tape mounted ferrules. The machine can also be used for crimping twin ferrules, however these need to be examined on a case by case basis to determine feasibility. We need to look at the number of wires being crimped, the type of insulation used, and the length of the wire. In some cases, it is easier to use the machine to crimp a loose piece ferrule than it is to try to insert multiple wires into the tape mounted ferrule. This is a sample reel of our insulated 8 gauge ferrules. The barrel length on this particular product is 47 hundredths of an inch. Our tape mounted ferrules are held in place in between two pieces of mylar and double sided adhesive. The adhesive is used to ensure that the ferrules remain in place during shipping and wire insertion. The machine produces a half moon shaped crimp which you can see here. Setting up the H270 to crimp ferrules is very straightforward. The first step in the process is loading your reel onto the machine, label side up, then unspooling the reel and feeding it down the chute. Next step is just dropping down your die so that you can load the tape onto the cog. And once you have that, you just need to advance the tape until you have a ferrule in the crimp nest. And once that is done, you bring the dies back up and you're ready to crimp. So you simply insert the wire, hit the foot pedal, and you're done. Seventy-five down. Starbucks logo woman. Ah, siren. Luke, I am your father. No, it's still not quite right. Luke, 